ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله اوصيكم واياي اولا بتقوى الله فقد فاز المتقون السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته All praise due to Allah the creator of all things the god of Adam the god of Noah the god of Abraham the god of Moses the god of Jesus the god of muhammad and the god for all mankind amen may the blessing of allah and his mercy be upon all of us especially for those who show mercy to one another to the creation of allah and the prophet said irham man fil ard yarham kum man fis sama show mercy to the world so that the one in the heaven will shower his mercy upon all of us to all our brothers and sisters once again i would like to remind myself and to all of us who are here with the reminder of allah allah said wa zakkir fa inna zikra tanfa al mu'minin remind each other because reminding each other bring a lot of benefit to the believers we need to be reminded again and again from the beginning of this conference we was reminded by the scholars by the speakers to have the islamic spirit the islamic love toward each other and one of the adab the manners that muslim should behave in this kind of gathering is when somebody offer you the greeting of peace you should respond with the spirit of islam meaning when anybody give you the greeting of salam peace every single muslim who are present should respond together by raising our voice louder than the one who offer you the greeting but we have failed to do that so i'm going to give you the greeting again so that we are not here just to listen to acquire knowledge but to act upon the knowledge that we have learned from day one we do not want to be a talking muslim but we want to be a practicing muslim assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh alhamdulillah is better than the first one of course but not the best the best should be when uh, anybody offer you the greeting of peace you should respond wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh May the peace of Allah his blessing and mercy be upon all of you that is the spirit we must keep on praying for each other to be leader in the future 
You must be very positive, creative, and constructive. Without having this good quality, we cannot be the future leader. Let us look into the Quran. Quran is a book of guidance, Huda. Quran is not a book only for Muslim, no. But Allah said, "Shahr Ramadan al-Lazi unzila fihi al-Quran." In the month of Ramadan, the fasting month, we, Allah, the Creator, send the Quran to Prophet Muhammad وسلم, as a divine guidance for mankind. Not only for Muslims. If the Muslims say the Quran is only for the Muslim, you are wrong. Allah never said the Quran is only for Muslim. Allah said the Quran is for humanity, for all mankind, for people who are Muslim, for people who are not yet Muslim, for the Chinese, for the Indian, for the Malays, for the Arab, for the non-Arabs. Quran is the final revelation of God to mankind. In the Quran, Allah said. Remember my favor upon all of you. Once upon a time, you live like a stranger among yourself. We live like a stranger, even we all are the children of Adam and Eve. But the way we live, like we are an alien to each other. Why? Because of race, because of color, because of culture. Then Allah Subhanahu wa Taala said, "Wa tasimu bihablillahi jami'an wa la tafarraku." Hold fast together with the guidance of God, Quran, so that all of you will not be a stranger after this. Wazkuru ni'mat Allah. Remember the favor of Allah upon all of you. Once upon a time, you are like enemy to each other. You are like an alien to each other. You are like a stranger to each other. Then, because of La ilaha illallah. Because of what, brother? La ilaha illallah. Everybody said. La ilaha illallah again. La ilaha illallah. Meaning, because of we recognize that Allah is the only true God, and we worship Him alone, make all of us brothers and sisters. Is kuntum aada an fa Allah fa bayna kulubikum fa asbah tum bi nigmatihi ekwana. You are enemy before to each other, and because of La ilaha illallah, everybody believe in one God and worship the true God, the God of Adam, the God of Noah, the God of Abraham, the God of Moses, the God of Jesus, the God of Muhammad, sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Now all of us become like a big family. Allahu akbar. And now listen to what Allah said about you and me, because we are talking about the future. Allah remind us about the past, the present, and the future. Number one, Allah remind us about who we are. Allah said, and indeed. I'm quoting the meaning in Surah Isra. We have honor the children of Adam, and we have provide for them transportation on land and on sea, so that they can travel around. And we have provide for them all the bounties, water, food, 
everything that they need. And among all the creation of Allah, God have created the heaven and the earth, the tree, the, the, the fish, the animals, the mountain, jinn. God created the angel and God created human. And God said, the best among the creation of God is human. It's all of us. We are the best creation of Allah among all the other creatures that Allah has created. In general, human is the best creation of God. And that's why we can develop. That's why we can become very constructive and in the same time, God said, the destruction on the land and in the sea is because of human hand. We become very destructive because we forget why we are here. Are we here to cause destruction? No. And then Allah said, Indeed, human, you are being created by God in the best form. Allah mold us in the best patterns. And then lastly, Allah said, There are so many nations that Allah has created. But the best nation is the nation of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. This title kuntum khaira is only given to the ummah of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Who is the ummah of Prophet Muhammad, brothers? We. Remember the word we, not I. When we said we, brothers and sisters then you must accept the fact that we are living in the time of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. May the peace of Allah be upon him until the day of judgment. Whoever live in this time until the doom days, we call ourselves Zaman Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. We are living in the era of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam because. Prophet Muhammad was sent to all people and nations and tribes. He was not sent to a particular nation or tribes. So we, the Ummah of Prophet Muhammad, should represent humanity. We don't represent one race. We don't represent one color, one nation. We are here to represent humanity. وَكَذَلِكَ جَعَنَّكُمْ أُمَّةً وَسَطًا Allah said, We have created all of you, the Ummah of Muhammad, the followers of Muhammad, as the middle Ummah, the middle nation. The middle nation means we are here to uphold justice for all or no justice for all. We are here to represent every single soul, male and female, young and old, rich and poor. We are here to represent every one of them. And because we are believers and we believe in what Allah said and what our prophets said, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala remind us and he make a promise that the time will come that you will find peace. Peace will prevail. But who are the people who can bring peace to the world? Everybody are talking about peace today. The West are talking about the peace. The East are talking about peace. The Middle East are talking about peace. But there is no peace. 
Because it's not just word. It's not just meeting. It's not just policy. It must be from our heart. You must be sincere in what you say. And we believe, brothers and sisters, what God said. He promised that He will bless the believer among all of us that we will be the peacemaker. We are only one that Allah entrusts us to make peace, to bring peace. As Muslim, we all believe the coming of time, time play a very important role. There will be peace for every single one of us. And we Muslims should be leading the promo and promoting peace to humanity. To do that, every Muslim should have pure knowledge, the power of knowledge. Without knowledge, we will fail ourselves. And that's why seeking knowledge is an obligation to every single soul. Muslim, not yet Muslim, male and female, everybody have the right to seek knowledge. Islamic country forbid people to commercialize knowledge. Because knowledge is something that belongs to everyone. And every single soul have the right to seek knowledge. And knowledge should be given free. It's a free education. And as Muslim, we must love education. With the right knowledge, then we have the right spirit. And with the right spirit, we will be able to represent every nation and tribes. Because the Prophet said, O oh people, listen carefully brothers and sisters. When our Prophet was talking to his people in Arafah, while he was performing his last hajj, is known as Khutbatul Wida, the last sermon, and very important sermon that all of us have forgot this important saying of Prophet. He was talking to 100% Muslims because in Arafah, people who are not yet Muslim cannot be there. It is a sacred land. Only Muslim are allowed to be there. So he was talking to 100% of Muslim. And majority are Arabs. And he said, O oh people, Ayyuhannas, O oh people. Again and again the Prophet used the term O oh people. What do we understand, brothers and sisters? That we are for everybody. We should represent everybody. We cannot say, Oh Muslim, the Prophet can say, Oh Muslim. The Prophet can say, Oh Mu'min, Oh believers. The Prophet can say, Oh Hujjahs, Oh people who perform Hajj. No, he used the word, Ayyuhannas, Oh people. Remember, Inna Rabbakum Wahid. All of you came from one God. Whether you accept Him or not, that is your problem. But there's only one God who created every one of us. Wa Inna Abakum Wahid. And indeed, all of us came from one Father. 
كلكم من آدم all of you are from Adam and Adam is from the earth from clay and then the prophet said the Arabs is not superior than the non-Arabs the white is not superior upon the black but the best among humanity in the sight of God is those who have piety taqwa inna akramakum inna allahi atqaqum the best among you is not been valued by God who create every one of us by color by name by nation but God value everyone based on our piety our faith and the prophet make ishara the prophet put his hand on his heart on his chest and he said a taqwa ha hunak taqwa is in your heart here here not how you look not how you dress not your name but taqwa is in the heart of every one of us So the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam then said to his people Have I convey the message of truth to all of you Have I convey the message of God to all of you since I am the last messenger there is no prophet after me and Quran is the final revelation there's no other holy book after Quran Quran is the last testament and prophet muhammad is the seal of all prophet so we say the followers say qad balaghta ya rasulullah we bear witness that you have conveyed the message of god to all of us the message that can unite every human race because if you believe there are two god then you cannot be united You must believe in one God then all of us can be together as one family. And the prophet said, "Fal yuballigh ash-shahidukum al-ghaib." Every one of you who have heard this message of Muhammad, you must convey the universal message of Islam to humanity. You must present Islam to humanity. all the good brothers and sisters who are here with us tonight today from friday it is your duty to make sure that you represent the true message of islam to your people if our family don't understand islam even they are born muslim it is our responsibility to remind them papa mama father mother Islam is for all not only for us not only for the Pakistani not only for the Somalian not only for who are here I do not know you know your people better than me Islam is for everybody papa so alhamdulillah if you can accept that then you can live like a big family and islam encourage us to mix encourage us to get together the turkish sister married the egyptian brother the somalian sister married a tunisian brother no problem a chinese brother married a, 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 a what pakistani sister no problem if you want to be the leader But today you have so many problem. What problem? Yeah, I know you're Muslim. Yes, yes, you're Muslim. Oh, she's a Muslim. Yeah. But look, I'm from Pakistan. You are Turkistan, but we have the stan. All have the same stan. But you start with P, I start with T. <laughs> What's the problem? A letter. A letter become problem. Why must this be a problem? That means we don't understand the spirit of Islam. 
you are still racist. How can you lead the world? How can you bring peace to the world if you are talking about your race? No. And that's why the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam managed to bring peace to the world because of the spirit of Islam. That Islam represents every race, every color, every nation, every tribe. And Islam said that all humans are children of Adam. So we are all like one big family. Like the tree. There's only one. But later on have so many branches. And it come up with flowers. Different color. Brown, white, black, green. Alhamdulillah, we are not green here. Alhamdulillah. Only incredible hawk become green man. Now, brothers and sisters, why we say that we are able to bring peace? Because number one, Allah entrusts only to the believers to bring peace to the world. A non-believer cannot bring peace. They can talk about peace. But a believer is sure to bring peace because he or she himself have peace with God. And Allah said, Peace belong to me. Don't belong to you, don't belong to me. Peace belong to Allah and peace only come from Him. If you want peace, you must go back to Him and follow His way. Not my way, not your way, not M way, not cause way. There are so many ways today. Yeah. But Allah said, my way. Whose way, brothers? Allah's way. Ud'u ila sabiri rabbika. Allah said, call the people back to the way of God. Not to your way, not to my way. No. To one way, the way of God. There is the Quran. The book that we all believe. But we are not following the book anymore. We still follow our own way. And that's why we fail. And because of the spirit of Islam that the Prophet had brought to the first generation, and the Prophet said, Khairunnas Karni. The best people are the people in my time. Because in my time, people do not talk about race. They do not promote culture. They are here to promote peace for everyone. And Allah give them victory because they are here to uphold justice for all. We know that by having the right knowledge of Islam from the teaching of Quran, and the saying of our Prophet Muhammad وسلم, is the only solution to each and every problem that we face today. Allah the Creator knows the problem that we are facing. He knows every single thing that is happening now. And that's why He was telling us in the book, Al-Quran, talking about the past, the present and the future. Brothers and sisters, in the eye of God, you must believe in this. It's very important. It's our aqidah. In the eye of Allah, this world have end. Qiyamah have end. You know what is Qiyamah? Do you know what is Qiyamah, brothers and sisters? What is Qiyamah, please? Let me know. The last day, the day of judgment, Mm -hmm. Do you want to understand the real world of Qiyamah? Do you want to understand to know the right word of Qiyamah? Do you want, brother? Alhamdulillah. Do you want, sister? Do you want to understand the real word of Qiyamah? Okay. So, 
help me to help you to understand can all of you just stand up for one second stand up again stand up Allahu Akbar stand up please Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar now don't sit because I'm standing up too and this is called Qiyam Qiyam that day Allah said every single one of us is going to stand in front of God not for one hour not for one day but for 50,000 years Kamsina alaf sana now you can sit down that day the day of Qiyamah all of us whether you are young or old male or female rich and poor everybody will be commanded by Allah to stand up no one is allowed to sit there's no chair there's no chair for any one of us and that is a day in the sight of Allah Qiyamah have happened that's why Allah can tell us everything about Qiyamah that's why the Prophet can say to us what is going to happen when the doom days take place what is going to happen in the day of Ma'ashar the day of assembly and remember and Allah knows who is going to enter paradise and who is going to hell every single thing is in the knowledge of God and that's why if you want to be successful person to lead the world and to bring peace only those who believe in God is able to do this when the Muslim carry out their responsibility as the best ummah nation for humanity by amal ma'ruf wa nahi munkar enjoying good and forbidding or what we call enjoying goods justice and human right and at the same time forbid all evils injustice discrimination and calling the world back to the true God and the true religion Islam then peace will prevail remember what God Allah said in surah 3 verses 19 in the deen in the law al-islam indeed the true religion in the sight of the true god allah is islam because islam stand for peace total submission to allah you find peace I'm not a peaceful guy before I became a Muslim. And my family can confirm that I'm not a peaceful guy. I have no patience. I always get angry very fast. But after learning about Islam, praying five times a day, and we never miss our prayer, Alhamdulillah we find peace inside and peace outside when Islam promote peace we are talking about peace to all to the animals plant also will enjoy the beauty of peace and sakina tranquility at that point of time, the Prophet said, the time will come, the time will come, no more war. War is gone. No more killing. Now there are a lot of killing. No suffering. At that point of time, when the peace of Allah descend on this earth, no more fear. We don't live in fear anymore. 
Because everybody has been given by God sufficient. You don't have to fear anything anymore. It is so peaceful that even the wild beasts bring peace to us. A baby can play with a lion, with the most poisonous snake, and they will never cause harm to them. Because when Allah bless this earth with peace, nobody can take away the peace except Allah alone. No war, no killing, no suffering, no fear, but peace. And we ask Allah Almighty, the All-Knowing, the All-Powerful, the All-Seeing, the All-Hearing, and the All-Knowing, May Allah give us the opportunity to bring peace back to ourselves. You want to talk about the future of the world? Talk about your own future. You want to have peace within ourselves. And Allah said, قَدْ أَفْلَحَ مَنْ زَكَّاهَا وَقَدْ قَابَ مَنْ دَسَّاهَا Allah said, successful is those who keep themselves clean and pure. If you want to have inner peace, brother and sister, you must make sure that you can take care of the cleanliness and purity of your intention, your heart. Whatever you want to do, whatever you want to say, it must come from your heart, from your sincere heart. Don't allow yourself to be corrupted by anything you are sure to experience peace within yourself. And when you have peace within yourself, and Allah said, وَقَدْ قَابَ مَنْ دَسَّهَا Destruction, failure, will be upon the people who allow themselves to be corrupted spiritually, mentally, and physically. When you have peace within yourself because you find peace with God. Because peace belongs to Him. Then you will bring peace to your family, inshallah. Now you can check by yourself whether you are a peaceful person or not. And then if you say, I'm a peaceful guy, good. Do you bring peace to your family? Do you have peace at home or you break pieces at home? You ask yourself, ask the sister, your wife, do you bring peace at home? Do you bring peace to your children? Do your wife feel secure? Do your children feel secure? You got to ask. You cannot just self-claim, I'm a peacemaker. But you cause a lot of unrest at home. Then you are sure to bring peace to the society and country. And that's why the Prophet said, you cannot be a true believer. None of us here can be a true believer until he brings peace to his neighbor or her neighbor. And your neighbor have right upon you. To the extent the Prophet said, you cannot be a true believer in Allah and the Day of Judgment until you honor your neighbor's right. Whether your neighbor is a Muslim or not yet a Muslim, they are your neighbor. They have right upon you. You must honor their rights. You cannot just think for yourself. Even Allah has said that in Surah Tawbah, if you have any neighbor among you who are not yet Muslim, the mushrikeen, it is your duty to bring Allah to them. And after telling them about what is Islam, and they refuse to follow, you have no right to force them, you have no right to abuse them, humiliate them, but leave them in peace as your neighbor and show them how peaceful you are 
so that one day they will become one of us. Why Allah say that? Zalika bi annahum qawmun la ya'lamun because these people who do not accept Muhammad and Islam is because they do not know who is Muhammad. They do not know what is Islam. They do not know what is the Quran. Why? Because we fail to share the knowledge of Islam to all of them. Brothers, how many not yet Muslim friends that you have that you have shared with them about Islam? How many? How many, brother? Two? Alhamdulillah. Being a Muslim, if you don't share the knowledge of Islam with your friend, then you are a betrayer of Islam. You make qiyana to Islam. Remember, brothers and sisters in Islam, like what I said and what Allah said about Himself, Allahumma anta salam, O Allah, you are peace and peace belong to you. No one can really experience and attain peace without going back to God. May the peace of Allah, I would, I reword again, or I repeat, may the peace of Allah be upon all of us who are present in this conference and also to those who are absent. Amin. Now why I say that? Because Allah is the God of the world. Rabbul Alameen. Not Rabbul Arab. Not Rabbul Pakistani. Somali. No, Rabbul Alameen. Is the Lord of the world. And that's why when we pray to Allah, brothers and sisters, how do we ask Allah? The best prayer, the most important prayer, the greatest ni'mah, the greatest bounties that we receive from Allah is in Surah Al-Fatiha. Ihdina Sirat Al-Mustaqim. O Allah, guide us all to the straight path. We never say to God, Oh God, guide me. Oh God, guide the Muslim. Oh God, guide my family. No, guide us all. Guide who, brothers? Guide who, brothers? All of us. You must represent all of humanity. Even those who are not guided yet, you must ask Allah to guide them. How many Muslim today ask Allah to guide the people? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Allahu Akbar. Where is the other hand? You have been asking Allah, but you don't even realize that you are asking for everybody. That is to remind us, Islam is here to represent everybody. Ask Allah, O oh Allah, give guidance to all of us. All of us. Even you are praying alone, you never say, when you are salah, alone, alone, not jama'ah, alone. You never say, Ihdini sirat mustaqim, O oh Allah, guide me only. No. If you recite that manner, your prayer will not be accepted. Whoever changed the word of God while he is performing a salah, the prayer is not valid. Whether you like it or not, whether you like your neighbor or not, you must ask Allah to guide him. You cannot say, Oh Allah, punish him. Because I hate him. That's your problem. That's not God's problem. Yeah. It's because of your own ignorance because you don't have the love toward each other, make you hate people for no reason. But inshallah, to all the beautiful brothers and the sisters, and all of you who are present, we believe that now you understand the message of Islam is the message of peace. And we know that 
the future of Islam rely on the younger generation. I only ask Allah to guide the parents, the father and the mother, those who are 50 years above. Please, please show mercy to your children. Educate them, make them understand the true teaching of Islam, not your culture and your tradition. As a Muslim, remember what the Prophet said, Al-Islam ya'lu wa la yu'la alayh. Islam is always the top, the most important thing in our life. Put Islam ahead of anything else. Don't put your culture, don't put your tradition, don't put your race in front of Islam. Put Islam in front of everything. Insha'Allah, we are going to change the future. Amen. If any one of you who are prepared to find peace with God, we would like you to come forward. We invite you to the religion of peace. We invite all of you to Islam. And to be a Muslim is not difficult at all. Now, I'm not inviting you to be a Malay or a Chinese or an Arab or a Somali, or a Pakistani, or a Turkish. No, I want to be who you are. Like me, I'm a Chinese, born, and that's why people call my name Hussein is Arabic name, then follow up with Yi, my father's name. My father's name is Yi A Choi, a Chinese, 100% Chinese. And I am also 100% Chinese. But I am a Chinese Muslim. This is a Turkish Muslim. This is an Arab Muslim. This is Somalian Muslim. You can be a Norwegian Muslim. So we would like to invite all the brothers and sisters who are here with us. Who are not yet accepting Allah, the true God. Humbly, sincerely, we invite you to God. And you will never regret, brothers and sisters, why? I tell you why. If you accept Islam and we die, after accepting Islam, we die as a Muslim. Your soul, your spirit will be prayed by billions of Muslims in this world. Every single Muslim, when they perform their prayer every single day, they will pray for the soul of everyone who believe in the true God, who are Muslim. Without you have to pay any penny, any cent. Your soul will be enriched with the prayer of the Muslim in the world. Every single Muslim who pray five times a day, they will pray for the soul of every Muslim who die and who die as a Muslim. So there's nothing for us to worry, nothing for us to regret, but you have a lot to gain to become a Muslim. And I assure you, by following the teaching of Islam and the Prophet you are sure to attain peace within yourself and family and the society, inshallah. So we call upon anybody who have any interest to become a Muslim, please stand up and come forward, inshallah. We welcome you to Islam, the religion of peace. I know it's not easy. I know there's a lot of struggling inside us. Is this true, the religion of peace, when there's so many war here and there around the Muslim country? Yeah, I'm not talking about Muslim brothers and sisters, I'm talking about Islam. I'm not talking about the race, I'm talking about the religion. I'm not talking about tradition and culture and custom, I'm talking about the deen of Allah. There's a lot of difference between race and religion culture and religion and it is very wrong for the Muslim to say I am Islam no 
You cannot say you are Islam. Islam belong to Allah. You say, I am a Muslim. Who are we brothers? I am a Muslim. Waqala innani minal muslimin. You say, I am a Muslim. You cannot say, I am Islam. Islam belong to Allah. It's the deen. It's the teaching. Muslim is the followers. And when we worship Allah, we only worship Allah alone. We don't worship Muhammad. The law of Islam is not Muhammadan laws. It is the divine law from Allah to humanity. So once again, to all the brothers and sisters, if you think you are ready, this is the best time. But if you are shy, you can see us after this punch, inshallah. But please don't wait. We do not know what is going to happen to us. We can drop dead after this. But we do not want you to die until you have submit to the true God. And you will never regret that what I said again. No Muslim will regret if they die as a Muslim. Because your soul will be blessed by Almighty Allah because the Muslim in the whole world will pray for you without you asking them to pray for you. You don't need to ask them. They have to pray for you. When they perform their last tahiyyat, they will say, As-salamu alayna wa ala ibadillahi salihin. That's where the prayer will come to all Muslim who die as a believer. May Allah guide us, may Allah bless us, may Allah give us the courage to come forward to accept the true religion of God, that is Islam, mean peace with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Subhanakallahumma bihamdik, ashadu an la ilaha ila anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayk. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.